from KETK, you're watching East Texas Live. Welcome back. When we think of nonprofit organizations, we might not think about a hospice center, but the Hospice of East Texas is participating this year in East Texas Giving Day, and they're going to be sharing about some of their goals uh, this year. We've got Betsy with us. Good morning, and thank you for being here. Pleasure. Always glad to uh, be able to speak with all of these nonprofits, especially uh, Hospice of East Texas. So thank for you. those who are unaware what uh, Hospice of East Texas does, tell us a little bit about your work. Mm. The Hospice of East Texas exists to enhance the quality of life for people who are dealing with very serious illness or a life-limiting illness. Um, we also assist the bereaved family members, those who have lost loved ones and are grieving for that, including children. Many people don't know, but whether or not your loved one was cared for by the Hospice of East Texas, we would be very happy to help those who are grieving from a loss. And it's such a tough area of work, but it's also such an area that has such a, unfortunately, a high need uh, in East Texas, not just East Texas, but I mean across the world, right? It, it is, there's a great need. Um, the Hospice of East Texas has been here for 40 years, and I am thrilled to say we haven't changed our mission in over 40 years. And what I think that means is that our mission is evergreen. It's always needed. Mm -hmm. um, and d throughout different generations, um, I would be an example. I got involved with the Hospice of East Texas when my grandmother had cancer, and they were a great help and a source of peace and care. My father now has dementia, and he's in hospice care. We're just very grateful for that compassion and comfort that they provide. And with that compassion and comfort, it takes a lot, right, on the emotional side, but it also takes a lot of monetary assistance to be able to make everything that y'all do possible. Absolutely. So this is why we're taking part in East Texas Giving Day. Um, do y'all have a goal set this year? I'd like to answer that by saying um, you you can't give too much mm -hmm. money to the Hospice of East Texas. We, uh, our, we use the philanthropy we receive for patient care that we is unfunded. Those are people who may not have insurance or for those people who don't yet qualify for Medicare and Medicaid. One thing many people don't know is the Hospice of East ne Texas never sends people a bill. So whether you can always afford our services and we would love to help everybody that is in need of hospice service. Well, I did wanna ask, Giving Day happens you know, around this time, but do we have to wait for East Texas Giving Day to be able to send donations into you? Not at all. We would be grateful for donations throughout the year. Um, you can go to our website, www.hospiceofeasttexas.org, or you can just call us. Um, the phone number is on our website, or I could say it here if you want me to. Um, yeah, we also offer memorials and honorariums. So if someone passes away and you'd like to do something kind for the family, you can give a donation to the Hospice of East Texas and we'll send a beautiful card. And yeah, would love to, we welcome all giving. All right, well, such a needed service, such a compassionate and supportive service Thank that you. is offered by Hospice of East Texas. If you're interested in uh, learning any more about donations for them, of course, uh, like we've said all day, we have the link for East Texas Giving Day over on our website, ketk.com, early giving underway now, official East Texas Giving Day happening on April 25th. Thank you so much for being in and talking with us this morning. We appreciate it. Thank you for having us. Of course.